started, I think, actually it's kind of a funny story, like I always had such a passion for music but it was pretty late that I started um, playing. I um, got my first guitar off an ex-boyfriend and then we split up and then that was probably the time that I spent most of my time just in my bedroom um, going, fucking shit, writing songs. And um, then I went over to London and that's when I started um, playing music in venues and um, kind of taking it pretty seriously, writing songs and so forth. Everyone always has difficulty when um, going through the creative process in terms of sometimes there'll be heightened times and sometimes there'll be lulls, but also kind of drawing from what's going on sometimes. Yeah, you've just kind of, you gotta be there all the time with guitar in hand and a notebook and or recorder, you know, to kind of get anything down because you never really know where it's going to come from. Lots of touring, hopefully, and um, yeah, release of these songs and more music video clips and more touring and then more touring after that and then more gigs and then more touring and then hopefully more radio play and that kind of thing. Yeah, a long, long time ago. It took a long time for that to um, come out after we recorded it. Like I got back from London and put together a band, which was um, at that stage, uh, Vanessa Thornton, Ian Chater, Andrew Ryan, Alex Archer, and myself. And we hadn't even played a gig, and I went in and recorded these solo songs with those guys. And um, yeah, it was, that was pretty full on and quick. And then it took, yeah, ages, like a couple of, years or maybe a year after that for it to kind of come out and then hit the radio so by the time it came along it was like oh yeah <laughs> and now even I've got like I've recorded two albums that are ready to go and um, yeah it's just a matter of working out how we're going to do that but that's been you know all these projects they kind of tend to take a lot longer than you really want. <laughs> They were all, yeah, totally did. They were all friends and um, I kind of looked around and, you know, I kind of put up my head and went, oh, you guys can... <laughs> they were pretty interested in playing with me and I was interested in playing with them and it just so happened that everyone, you know, played the right kind of instruments and, yeah. And that was, it was pretty easy like that. I never really um, kind of auditioned someone except for Matt, we had to audition a new drummer when he got, when he came in. And yeah, it was kind of easy, that was good. Yeah, it can be really frustrating. I've got really beautiful people who help me out. Um, so that's cool, but, but negotiating your way between like the creative process and then the, um, and then the uh, business side is really, really hard. So it's good to have people that help me out with those decisions because I'm, I don't like making those decisions. And of, oftentimes, yeah, you don't you don't have the same ideas in terms of um, like I just want them to go out, mm. but there's this whole strategy about how you you know supposed to go go about things to release them. Yeah, I think um, I think it will be an interesting time of developing all those songs that I've um, put together like more in a solo capacity, and then the band and. Um, like there's this new song, Trophy Talk, that hasn't come out yet and I'm playing piano in it. But when I recorded it, I had to do left hand and <laughs> right hand. So I've got to not, not only find out how I'm going to get a fucking piano, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I've, got to, um, I've got to now learn how to play the left and right hand together, which is going to be pretty interesting. That's going to be a fun little challenge to, uh, to overcome. Um, that film clip was so much fun. It was really cool. It was done at my work. I, I look after children, and um, and um, it's all my friends in it. And we, uh, Julie Weston, one of my friends and housemate, helped me um, get it together. I just wanted to do a dance video clip, and Andrew Naraji, um, my friend, also directed it um, with a couple of another Andrew and Bruce uh, filmed it. And um, yeah, so we kind of put together the concept and 
worked out a bit of a small dance routine and then got everyone into the space and then um, just filmed it. We did it about, it was one take and we did it about um, seven times, I think. And the last take, you'll notice in the last like 30 seconds of it, the sun comes up. It was really, really cool. So that was the take that we went with, even though I'm like eating um, confetti <laughs> at one stage on the, when I'm hanging upside down on the monkey bus, that was pretty funny.